Superheroes project provides some additional practice in creating a custom class, having attributes that are encapsulated, and then creating instances of that class and adding them to a list, and then using the Dunder methods of str and lt to print out each record and to sort the records. So we're going to have a superhero class that will contain the superhero's name, their real identity, and their location. And we're going to pre-code or hard code in of just a few instances to populate our screen. And we're going to columnize our output with the superhero real identity and location. A Sentinel menu is going to come up and we're going to allow the user to add a new superhero record, remove a record, display all the records and they're going to be sorted A to Z, display this menu with a question mark, and of course terminate the program. Here is the init dunder method, the, the constructor for our class, and we're writing hero name, identity, and location. So there's a screenshot of adding a superhero and the real identity and their location. And once that's done, we can display the list with choice C. And again, notice these are alphabetized by the superhero's name. If we want to remove an entry, we're going to provide the name to remove and it'll be deleted from the list. So in this case, we removed uh, Superman. We try to remove Wolverine, but Wolverine is not on the list. So we're going to do a little error checking here along the way. And then again, running the choice, you'll see that now Superman is no longer part of our list. Question mark displays the superhero menu, and then X allows us to exit. So there's no external data in this project. We're going to hard code our three default records into the program. So we're going to pre-populate that data. To get you started, here is my main program. We're going to have a list called supers. This can be global. We're going to call method of print info, initialize data, and then print the records. And then here's our Sentinel menu. And when we exit that menu, we'll say program exited goodbye. So your job is to create the class and create these different methods. Here's the rubric for self-assessing your progress on this project. Based on what you know, I'm going to suggest you pause the video here and try to, to create this on your own. Wrestle with it for a while. If you have problems, then come back and look at the re remainder of this video, and I'll show you my code solution. Here's my solution to the Superheroes project. I created the Superheroes class in the same file as my main program. We could create it as a separate file and import that into our main program. Both ways would work just fine. So here's my Superhero class, named it Superhero. Here's my initializer as a function. It's a dunder method, so two underscores init, two underscores. We we'll always want to have self. And then my three values that I'm passing to it are hero name, identity, and location. And this doesn't be the same as the encapsulated attributes that I'm going to use. So it's self dot, again, a double underline hero name. And so with this double underline, that becomes an encapsulated attribute. And I can pass it then hero name. Now I could have used H, I, and L here. And that would have worked just fine as well. Doing the same thing for identity and location that will create the instance of each superhero. Then I have some setters for each of those properties, each of those attributes. We're going to pass it a value and set the encapsulated attribute to that value for hero name, identity, and location. And then we have some getters where we're going to return what those values are. So I'm going to return the private encapsulated attribute or property to the calling statement in my main program. Now I may or may not use these in my program as a generally as a programmer by default when I'm creating encapsulated attributes or encapsulated properties, I'm gonna also create setters and getters to go with those. Unless I want something to be read only, then I may not have a setter. But you don't know how you're gonna use this down the road, so it's helpful to have those pre-done for other uses, even if you don't use them in the current project. Here's my dunder str method. It's going to print our each record. And we're going to do this in columns. So I'm going to return the hero name. And I'm going to do a left justification of 22 spaces. 
I'm concatenating to that the identity again left justified 22 spaces and then the location for sorting we have a dunder method of lt with an attribute of other and here we're simply returning the self dot hero name is less than other dot hero name so a minus one means it's less than a positive one means it's greater than and if it's zero it's going to be equivalent Here's the main program that I gave you in the instructions. No changes there. We have our supers list that's going to contain all of the instances of our superheroes. So we're going to start by printing the info. So here's our print info. All it is, it's just a method call to that header information of what the program does. Then I'm going to initialize the data. So the initialized data is where I'm pre-populating our instances. So I'm going to take the global of supers and append to it, calling our superhero init of Superman, Clark Kent, Metropolis, and then Batman, Bruce Wayne, Gotham City, and Wonder Woman, Diana Prince, and Paradise Island. After it has initialized that data, we're going to print, here's a few to get you started, and print the records. And so the print records... We're going to print some headers here of superhero, real identity, and location, and then some equal signs, sort of create the underline under each of those headers. I'm going to sort supers. That's going to use that Dunder LT method to sort by the superhero name. And then for I'm going to iterate through the supers list and print each superhero as S. And then at the end, I'm going to print those underlines again, just to kind of frame those columns. It's a nice visual clue that this is the end of those records. So are we going to add the records? We'll call the add records. That's going to come from choice A on our Sentinel menu. We're going to create a new super. We're going to ask them to enter the superhero, the real identity, and the home location just using input statements. If those are blank, we'll end. So while new super is not null or new real is not null or new lock is not null we're going to append to our supers list calling the superhero init passing it new super new real and new lock those are the values these are entered then we're going to print that that was added to our list we're going to ask them to enter another superhero so again new super new real new lock input statements if any of those are blank then this will end once they've created a blank line, then we're going to print um, adding of records was terminated. If they delete a record, we're going to have a variable called delete me. We're going to ask them to enter the superhero name. And while this delete me is not null, we're going to say found equals false. And then for n and supers, we're going to go through and compare what they entered to the superhero name of each one in our supers list. And if it finds it, we'll delete it. And then we'll set found equal to true. Having gone through all those superheroes, if it didn't find it, remember the example of Wolverine that I showed earlier, if found equals false, then we're gonna say it was not found in the list. So we're sort of setting a flag here with found as a Boolean expression of false, setting it to true if we do find something, if we don't find anything, it remains false, and then we provide some information that wasn't found. And then we'll ask them to enter another one. So they can do multiples. And again, once we're done, Adding of records terminated, this should probably say deleting of records terminated. And then finally we have our main call. So let's just run this. I'm gonna, since I made a change, I'm gonna save. Let's run. So here's our pre-populated items of Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. I can choose A. I'll add Coding Genius as the superhero name. His real identity is gonna be Professor H, and the location will be SMCC. Now, if I wanted to add another one, I could. I'm just going to leave it blank. So I'm going to press Enter all three times. And I'm told the adding of records was terminated. Now let's do choice C. And I can see Coding Genius is added to my list. And it's alphabetized between B and S of Superman. If I wanted to delete one of those, I can press B for the menu item to delete and we will delete Superman. And I'm told Superman was deleted from the list. Superman was not found in the list. So there's a little problem there. I probably want to go back and fix because that should not have occurred, but I could do another one here. I'm just gonna say nothing. 
and deleted records are terminated. So the question now is, why did it say Superman was deleted and Superman was not found? The problem is I used a double equals. It should have been found equals true and not found equals equals true. So I'm going to press C again. And I see that Superman is no longer part of my list of superheroes. If I press X, the program exits. If you just jumped into this video and haven't seen the prior videos to this, I invite you to check out my Python playlist of videos. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos that I create, you can click my picture up in the top right and subscribe to the channel.